Hey there, everybody. I've got another suggestion for you all as a slow down spirituality practice. And this is a gratitude walk. So you might have done this before, but just head on outside, whether it's cloudy or sunny or rainy, um, and go on a walk looking for things to be grateful for. And I know if you're like me and you head on outside, sometimes you look around and even in this season where it's not quite spring yet and we're waiting and longing for summer and the beauty and the glorious flourishing of flowers and green and luscious leaves and beautiful color arrangements of flowers and, and we're just longing for something it to look different. Um, but I think that's the invitation right now is to go and look for the things to be grateful for even though they might first at first glance seem dead and lacking in beauty or lacking in things to be grateful for. So my invitation to you today is to just slow down and to take a second to pause with me and to look at a couple things that I picked up along my walk. And one of those things I just decided that instead of just walking around you know, feeling like, oh, there's nothing beautiful here. It's just sticks on grass, you know? Instead, I would pick up the stick and I would start to look at it. And so I picked up this little guy and it's beautiful, actually. Like the, just the coloration and the different knots. And it's so fascinating to see that this actually was once alive and obviously has the fingerprint of God on it. Another thing I picked up was a pine cone. And wow, these things are phenomenally arranged. And just how beautifully oriented each little segment is and how it, it just kind of opens up. Um, wow, that kind of beauty is just sitting around and just tossed on the ground. And we often miss out on just seeing God's fingerprint in his nature. And even in the things that are dead or are going to disintegrate at one point. Another thing I grabbed was just a, a leaf and like looking through the light at this leaf and the different veins that are still there and still present and they still hold like the image and fingerprint of God. So I'm thanking God today for even those things that are dead and on the ground. And my encouragement to you is to take a gratitude walk and name some things that you're grateful for and look for God even in the places that are unexpected. All right, guys, have a great day and enjoy your gratitude walk.